Hey everyone, and welcome back to Haste Kitchen Collaboration Series. I'm joined today with Kat from Paradise by way of Kensal Green, and she's going to be cooking one of her beautiful seasonal dishes. So Kat, if you want to talk me for your dish. Yes, so uh, today we're cooking a seasonal uh, fatouche salad uh, with some beautiful sesame seed tuna. Uh, fatouche is amazing, it's a Lebanese based salad. Uh, you've got radishes, shallots, uh, cucumber, really fresh, great for spring. And today really showcasing all the seasonal ingredients. That's something that's really passionate to you, isn't it? Seasonality, sustainability. Uh, it's honestly, it's just kind of, it makes food better. And do you locally source or do you use anything from France, Italy? I love following the seasons. So we start in Italy and then we travel to France and then into the UK. Nice. So you get the best of all the vegetables. So um, we're going to first start uh, with slicing our cucumber. Really love to incorporate all the seeds, all that flavour. You're not a de-seeder then? I'm not Good. a de-seeder. When you have a gin and tonic, you're going to... You got to ask for no seeds. I'm going to start by just slicing it into some nice little triangles. I, I love kind of Middle Eastern cuisine because yeah. it has so much flavour. Mm -hmm. Similar to Mediterranean cooking. Yeah. And it really just... It's, it's simple food which is packed full of flavour, isn't it? Yeah, Absolutely and it's just packed. always simple ingredients. Yeah. We've diced our cucumber. Um, yeah. So now we've got our um, slicing some shallot. Uh, I love to use shallot, it's got a nice sweetness but you can also just use red onion. It's also um, similar. This really adds a lot of depth to the dish. I, I like the fact that I'm not having to do anything. It <laughs> feels really nice just to That's say, the best thing I'm about, gonna start shouting at you. <laughs> the best thing about salads, it's just so much, it's just fresh. Yeah. Baby carrots, yep. you can either scrub them or peel them. Scrub. Um, I prefer to scrub, and you can use the entire product. These are lovely. We're gonna just trim them up and cut them in half just so you can see the inside of the carrots. Nice. You're not putting any heat through here at all, are you? No. Everything's going to be done cold. Everything's cold, uh, apart from the tuna, which is served rare. Yeah. So it's not that much cooking at all. Coming from Australia, I think I quite spoil it uh, with fresh seafood. I was going to say, I think you have slightly more over there. For some reason, I thought you were from um, the UK and then you just went over there to work for a while, but you didn't. You were actually born in Australia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I. Um, and you've been here for? Six years now, six this is my years. sixth year. I got a phone call from my mentor and said, you know, there's an opportunity uh, of working at Petersham Nurseries, which... Pretty amazing. You grow your own vegetables. And I was sold, like from a young age, my mum would, um, we she always let me have a little garden. So I like to follow the green of the tomato, it's quite cute. Yep. Nice. And it's gorgeous on the inside. Right, uh, so what are we doing with these? You so uh, this, we I like to use them whole. Yeah, grown in Kent, which is amazing. So lo as local as we can get. Lovely. Who picked it? <laughs> Tell me, God damn it! <laughs> they don't know. They're struggling with life. <laughs> but what we're going to do to make them happy is throw them in a great salad. Next, we're going to prepare the tuna. Okay. Um, so we've got this beautiful tuna loin. Using this, I generally take the chain off yep. uh, because it is a little bit more sinewy mm -hmm. than the rest of it. And when in this salad, you want it quite fresh. Yeah. Using things like any kind of fish, sharp knife, clean line, especially tuna, it's so soft. So what I like to do, especially when we get the whole loins in. You're gonna break gonna, it down. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna cut it down the middle. I used to, I was a butcher when I was going through uh, college and um, the butchers would use to always give you the shin of beef to practice on because it's yep. the tightest part with the sinew around the inside yep. and you'd have to be able to give it back as clean as possible. So you can serve people like to roll it into perfect circles. Mm -hmm. I prefer to follow the grain of the fish. Yep. And obviously you want nice little bite-sized pieces. You're going to go across that again? Uh, we're just going to go through the middle. Beautiful tuna. Hungry. Okay, so next step is we're going to um, do a sesame seed crust. Um, I love using using sesame oil. Lovely. Slight bit of fusion, but the best thing, because tuna and sesame just together is amazing. Just seem, don't they? Absolutely yes. beautiful together. So now we're just going to toss that uh, in some sesame seeds. I like using black and white. We're going to grab the tuna. Yep. Uh, we can... Do you oil, oil the fish first? Uh, no, I like to just do it plain. Okay. The reason why we don't oil it and things like that is after we have put a little nice crust on it. Yep. We make sure this end is clean. Oh, sorry. So no, it's the trick. So when we're cooking, mm -hmm. we can tell exactly how it's cooked. I presume uh, you're gonna get a pan up to a high heat for this? Yes, extremely high heat, a uh, little bit of vegetable oil, and we're gonna uh, just pan fry each side for about one minute. 
When choosing an oil, it's uh, very important to choose a vegetable oil so you can take it to a higher smoking point. So with this type of beautiful springtime dish, we thought we'd come up to the conservatory area where it's nice and light and vibrant to serve this one up. Now, do you want to do the dressing? Yes, please. Um, so we're going to start by squeezing a few lemons. Right. Um, so the beautiful Amalfi lemons, just making sure there's no seeds. In the meantime, I'm just going to cut the tuna. So we have our beautiful seared tuna. You're relying on really the ingredients being the thing that's packed full of flavour. You've got fresh herbs, you've got fresh vegetables, you've got beautiful seared tuna. So the dressing really needs to be light and vibrant. So what do you want, a pinch of sumac in here? Um, a nice big pinch, chef pinch. A little bit of olive oil. Yep. And a big squeeze of sesame. So once that's nice, we're not going to whisk it. We're just going to literally start adding all the ingredients and macerating them. So giving them a nice little toss. Beautiful. So we're going to start with a little bit of tomato. Just with some nice fresh picked herbs, making sure you really tear, get all the flavour out of the leaves. Some coriander cress, so it's nice and sweet and it's very fresh. You see, now you're talking my level. I'm fine with coriander, it's just parsley is the herb of the devil. So we're just going to add a little bit of salt and then give it a nice toss. Am I allowed to lick a tomato straight yeah. out there? <laughs> oh my god! So now we're going to put some fresh pea shoots in. Beautiful. So a little toss. Always add them at the end so they mm -hmm. don't get too soggy. Yeah. These, you've got the tomatoes and the cucumber. They want to suck in that dressing. A lot of moisture going out. A lot of moisture. And so the pea shoots at the end just keeps it nice and fresh. Yeah. Let me place. We've got all those beautiful flavours. Just going to place our tuna. I love having it with tahini yogurt. Um, sesame seed paste matches the sesame seeds on the totally. outside. We finish with a bit of so sesame oil. Sesame oil. Beautiful. Can I try? Yes. Dig in. That is so freaking good. Sorry, man. That's blown me away. <laughs> no, that is so good. I mean, it's just the right amount of acidity going through there, not to overpower the tuna, which is, can so easily be overpowered, can't mm -hmm. it? But thank you so much for coming on the channel. It's been an absolute pleasure to meet you. My pleasure. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, comment down below. I'll see you soon. Cheers then, bye-bye.